Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with another video. If you are brand new to my channel, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. So today I have a really cute card uh, that doesn't take a lot of time at all and actually it has no stamping in it. Of course, if you want to stamp, you, you most definitely could. But today's card, I have no stamping in it at all. And I'm making a little a little thank you card. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to be using. I have, well, the card stock. I have some, uh, what is this? Bermuda Bay, basic white and basic black. And I do have a basic white medium envelope. But today I'm gonna be using something from the brand new January to June. 2022 mini catalog and it is going to be the amazing thanks dies and the butterflies and flowers layering decorative masks that's a mouthful this is really cute i may have shown this in a previous video i'm not sure or not but this comes with uh -oh, dropping stuff already this comes with uh, a set of six masks or stencils and they can, can create some really beautiful, uh, some projects. So I'm going to be using one of those. I, I've already taken it out. And this one is like, it looks sort of like daisies. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm also going to be using the Thanks Die from the Amazing Thanks Dies set. And this is what the set looks like. It comes with the uh, sentiments itself. Thanks, you are amazing, along with the background or outline of those words. And this is what it looks like if you layer it up with, with a color. Um, so you can see the, back, the the outline of it. And again, you can use any color that you would want to use. So this is what I'm going to be using for, uh, today. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get some of these things together now. Let's tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing some of these things out of the way that I don't need just yet. I will need the smaller of the two. I don't need that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo, and uh, Mango Melody as my colors. I'm going to be doing some blending. I am in love with the blending brushes. So I'm just going to stick it down with some post-it uh, notes. I have a I just cut them up and I'm going to be, I don't think there's a right or wrong side per se. I'm going to hold this down as well, just so it could, uh, so it doesn't move too much on me. And I'm going to use post-it notes. You use washi tape. You could use, I wouldn't use a regular tape because it might be a little bit uh, too sticky. They do have something called low tack tape, so you can probably use that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is my Bermuda Bay. And I am not going to cover, cover this whole uh, cardstock. I'm just going to use a, a small amount. And you'll see when we're, when we're finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in on this way. Uh, you can color as much or as little as you want. But I'm not going to color all of it. And you'll see that. And I think that's enough of that one. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to close it up because I'll, I'll get ink everywhere. Next is the Melon Mambo. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Melon Mambo. And we're going to go in toward the middle and we're going to kind of overlap. And you see we've made a third color. How cool is that? And that's what I'm going to do for that one. Close that up for a bit. And then the third one is, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Mango Melody. And we're going to hold it down. And then we've made another color. So we've had a, like a total of five colors on this particular project, but only used three colors. And that is that. So I'm going to close this up. I'm trying not to get ink all over my fingers. And the reveal... How cute is that? I love it. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set this aside. And while we have the colors out, I am going to do the envelope as well. Because we can't have, what they call it, no naked envelopes. 
And so I'm just going to use a small portion of what is already left on on the brush. Just a little bit. Use the three colors because I don't want to do the whole portion. It's just a small area. I'm going to do the corner. And there we go. Just like that. I'm going to set that aside. And then you know what? I'm going to do the same thing for the inside as well. My inside. Uh, I'm going to turn it this way. And I just want a small portion. Let me hold that down. And again, I'll do the Bermuda Bay up here. Again, it's leftover whatever was left in the brush. Because I don't want a lot. I just want an accent of it. And again, I'm going to go over the blue area just a little bit more. And we'll set that aside. And there's our inside. So let me move some of this, these things out of the way so I don't get color everywhere. Because <laughs> I will color book follow me. <laughs> there we go. So we move some of these things out of the way. I'll move these out of the way as well. And so the next thing I need to do is bring in my die cutting machine. So let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to use the Baby Boss to cut out the images, or not image, the sentiment. And first I'm going to cut out the word thanks. And I have some scrap paper. I'm going to cut this out. I need to get my plate right. It's number one. Number two, paper, and then a number two, paper die, and a number two. And look how neat that cut out. Love it. I'm going to set that aside, brush that off. And now I want to do a black layer as well. Because I'm going to offset it just a little bit. So I'm going to run it through again with the black. Ooh. So we have a number one, a number two, paper, die, and a number two. So I'm going to cut the second one out in black. Hopefully I have this right. There we go. And we have the second one. This peels off. There we go. How cute is that? Move that aside. Move that aside. <coughs> and now we're going to do... Outline and some vellum. And let's see if we got that the right way. Here we go. I know you heard the creaking, and that's normal. Let me move my things out of the way. And now we have our pieces all cut out. Let's move that up to the side. And we'll start putting the card together. So before I get all the way started with the rest of it, I'm going to uh, offset these just to give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of contrast. And so I'm going to use my mono liquid adhesive, but I've put it in this little small container. I mean, this container with a small tip, but it's the same uh, adhesive that we always used that I've always used. And I like it because you can get you can control the amount that comes out. Let me hold it better like this. You can control the amount that comes out and where it goes. And I don't get super sticky fingers like I used to. It has a very small tip. And so far, I've been using it for a minute. 
and I haven't found it to really clog up like the others, you know, if you leave it open or whatever. So I've applied glue to that. I'm gonna offset it just a little bit so you can see like a, a little bit of the black showing. And you adjust it how you want, like so. Now you may get a little glue on your fingers, but it's nothing like, <laughs> nothing like before, I tell you that. And I like using the glue because it gives you to a, a little bit of wiggle room to fix exactly how you want it to be fixed. It gives you a little bit of time to play around with it, which is cool. And then I usually just take something and smash it flat. <laughs> and that helps it to stay flat. Now I'm going to actually apply glue to the back of this and put it on my sheet of vellum. And again, small amounts of glue. And once this glue dries, it's permanent. It doesn't really come up, which I love. Like so. I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to put it on the vellum. I know it's probably hard to see, so if I do it this way, maybe you can kind of see it a little bit better. And so it kind of outlines, so you kind of want to put it right where the outline would be for the black for the black cardstock like so and again i take something and smash it flat <laughs> and that helps it to adhere now we're just here to put the card together let me put my little lid on uh -oh. it comes with a little lid as well the, the little stopper and I will take the bigger because we don't need to be quite as precise. There we go. And we're going to set this on the inside like so. And then this will be the front of the card and then I can use a regular size Tombow. So how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well, staying warm, staying as well as it can be expected. So you see this provides us, it makes the colors pop a little bit. It provides us a little bit of a black base and then we're going to, I'm not really going to, I might use dimensionals and I might not. And we're going to set this on the front of our card, like so. And I'm going to have the card in, in a landscape position. And there's a larger border with this one, like that. And then the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to put our, oh, let me put a little bit more glue right here. We're going to put our words together. I mean, not together, but put our word down. Like so. And I think the first one I did use some dimensionals, but I don't think I'm going to use dimensionals. And the great thing with that is because it's a, a thicker base you, and it's actually on there. I can actually, I think I'm going to use my smaller glue. <laughs> and I am just going to glue the back together. Now you can add dimension, dimensionals if you want. But in this case, I don't think I am. And you can do this card in so many different colors. Uh, that's what I love about it. So I'm just gonna have it off. Uh -oh. I'm gonna have it stuck down. And again, take my plate, press it down so it'll stay. And there you have it, my friends. See, I have my mini dimensionals already, but I'm not going to use that. Let me close this up. And there's your card and your, where's my, I always lose my bone folder. <laughs> there's your card 
and your envelope already. Now, if you want to add something else to it, you could add some bling to it. Maybe I will add a couple of little pieces. And I think I'll probably use, I am so in love with these. These are the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. That's a mouthful. But they are so pretty. If I can open them up. Here we go. And for this, I'm just going to use a couple. I'm going to use a couple on the side. Right, right there. Right here. And then one on the other side. Like so. And there you have it. Cute card. No stamping. Lots of color. Look at the variations of color. We got five different colors using three different ink pads. Um, so that I really, really like. So there you go, everybody. My quick card for today. My quick thank you, thanks card. Thank you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share and subscribe and hit the little notification bell to all to make sure you're notified of future videos when I upload them. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'll be back real soon with another video.